yeah. was good. Um, do you reckon something like that would get made today with, like, the same title? I don't know. You know what? We've definitely gone very, very PC, and it depends. I know for some, the word fat is quite a sensitive word. There's so much negative connotation around it. You know, if people's been bullied, people's been abused with that line. I've been called fat many times. But culturally, for me, I grew up, you know, in West Indian. Fat can be deemed in many different ways. When I go back home and a man calls me down, you're nice and fatty, I'm not taking that. Oh, that that's a compliment. <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Some cultures embrace that. And I think there's many other words in Jamaica that would be worse than um, fat. But I think it's about... Which we're not going to say. We're not going to say. Then. A big Big gal, big gal, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, I think it depends on the individual. I think it's important for us to be able to use language in many different ways, in many forms of language. If I've got a friend who's going to say to me, you know, geez, what's going on? Things is getting a bit, you know, it depends on the delivery. And, and do you appreciate that level of honesty from your friend? If it's, my, if it's a close, close friend, because you've got to remember there is certain health issues that are associated to being overweight and there is certain health issues when it comes to other things as well. So if I've got a friend that I know is generally out of concern and saying, like, you know, your weight's fluctuated over these last couple of months, is everything OK? That's different than us mm -hmm. out having a good time saying, oh, God, I don't think you should be wearing that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a different level, there's a different layer there. Yeah. So for me, you know, the word fat, I think, it depends on the context and I just think it depends on who's using it and how it's used. Um, I haven't watched the whole show and I'd have to see how it's used to be able to define and decide what I think about it. But I think there's one thing we should definitely understand is that for many people who are overweight, there is different reasons. If it's not based because of trauma, if it's not because of genetics mm. or, you know, an unhealthy diet, mm. then fair enough. But there's many different reasons mm. for why someone's weight is the way it is. And I think mm. that's what we have to be sensitive about. Yeah, I about. think people are very quick to judge. Yeah. 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 And Liv, I know that you've been filming recently in mm. the States. Yeah. And um, Judy was talking about the word itself. And different people see the word in different ways, don't they? Yeah, for sure. I mean... I'm trying to think what I can say without giving away too many spoilers about the upcoming show, but it's essentially I met with women who are larger and they kind of use their size to make this adult content and that is their niche. That's their people come to them because they love the way they are. And, you know, there was a whole range. Some women were, you know, really owning the word fat. They don't mind it. They've got it in their mm. bio in cheeky connotations and whatever. And then another good woman I met, she was like, I hate that word. I'd like, it's not, you know, I don't identify with it. It brings up negative mm. feelings. So like you mm. said, I think there's, there's, a, there's a dictionary definition of the word fat that we kind of can't just, like, eradicate it because fat is that you use, like, on your body or it's in yeah. food or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think in terms of, like, labelling going to someone, you're fat, like you say, that, that's not nice. But mm -hmm. I think it has to... The individual has to have the control over that. Mm -hmm. I mean... Grew up in the ninth, well, born in the nineties, and you know, around the time shows like this were created, and we were obsessed with talking mm. about people's weight. It was like, yeah. you know, I heard that word all the time. Like yeah. we, everyone was, oh, she's fat. She, it was like a, you know, we we were obsessed with dieting, weight, talking about other people's weight. Did and you hear it, was, it a lot at home? Yeah, it was. A, it wasn't a word that wasn't, you know, wasn't. We would not use it, and I mm. think um, I sometimes, you know, you think about. It was the time, wasn't it? And people did speak like that. We spoke like that at home. We, you know, people we knew spoke like that. And then I always think I'm probably a product of my own, you know, the period of time I grew up in. I, I've not got kids, but I always do think, oh, you know, how I need to be careful how I speak about myself and yeah. you know, when I do have kids because I don't want to carry on that journey. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a really difficult one. I think it's, you know, it's hard. I think it's when people define... That's the only thing they define you as. Yeah. Nothing else matters yeah. apart... Oh, you know that girl, what's her name? That fat one. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, not, oh, the one who's educated or the one that works at a certain place. It's just being mm. defined, and I think that's yeah. a negative issue. But do you, think that, do you think that the way we look at it has changed over the... Well, since the show was launched 24 years ago? Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, I have to be really careful, and I've always been really careful about how I speak to my kids and that, because my daughter, Lauren, had bulimia mm -hmm. in her teens and everything, and it worried me sick I took it to the doctors and they didn't really take it seriously so I've always been careful with that but my mum because I was on television used to go to me salad bars over there <laughs> so I'd go oh wow. okay that meant I'd put on a little bit of weight but I mean she did it because she loved me yeah, but your mum yeah. can say that to you but no one yeah. else can say it to you yeah. really yeah. no I absolutely agree my, you know my mum was the only person that could say to me um I remember sitting on the stairs one day and she was like have you seen your thighs <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know 
You need to, you know, lay off the biscuits or do a bit more exercise. But you can take that yeah. from your mum. You can, yeah. yeah, yeah. From anyone else, you'd you. see it yeah, as being, yeah. you know, a bit offensive. Do you reckon they'll call you up if it's made into a movie, Jude? <laughs> I mean, babes, if, if that email, because we were saying it, if that email comes in, I'll be phoning and saying, can you make these people to contact me? And then you'd say to me, but how much was the check, babes? And then we'd have to <laughs> make a decision. Look, it is what it is. I, being a plus-size woman, I get, I get calls and I get auditions for things that is definitely around just that area, but also, right. yeah, and my thing will be like, okay, well, I'm not just a plus size That's woman. not the sum of it's, who you are. Yeah, mm. I'm a comedian, I'm a yeah. presenter, I'm a mum, there's all these other parts. So as long as it's bringing something positive, I don't mind wearing the plus size clothes and making women mm. and men and they feel like, listen, it doesn't matter what size you are, it's more about your health. Yeah. Mm. So I, as much as I am a size 20 to 22, I will go to the gym. I will say I'm not having that second bit of cake. And yeah. it's not just about that. I've had traumas as a child mm. why, where I can see where my weight came on. And then we have kids and then we've got hormones. So there's all mm. other things about it. Do, do you think the way we... <laughs> do you think that the way we look at size here has changed a lot over the years because we are getting more influences from abroad? Yeah. So in the Caribbean, like you talked about earlier, the way they look at size is, is, is very different. I've done Trinidad Carnival two or three times and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Obviously, you'll be there next year. Um, but the way that the women celebrate their size and they celebrate yeah, yeah. their body shapes and they will wear the carnival costumes without any embarrassment whatsoever. I mean, I think I got most I think... of my confidence when I went to Jamaica. I wear a bikini all day, every day, and I don't care. If you don't like it, look the other way because the fat's going to be here. <laughs> And the backpack. <laughs>